Back today. <laughs> Well, the Atlantic storm season appears to have started already. A tropical storm warning in effect now tonight in much of Florida's peninsula. Storm, once known as uh, Agatha in the Pacific Ocean, crossed over Mexico and will likely be the first tropical storm of the Atlantic hurricane season known as Alex when that happens. Southern Florida, along with parts of Cuba and the Bahamas, under that tropical storm warning with a system expected to strengthen as it moves through the Gulf of Mexico. It's getting started it, as it, it feels earlier and earlier. Already right? started, and yeah. I'm telling you, it's up to up to a foot of rain in some parts of Florida because of all this. Not a lot of that going on here, though, Stephen. No, we're not seeing much precipitation, but taking a look at what they're talking about right there, we're seeing that tropical storm just moving just across. Uh, Florida right now as it makes its way through and we're not going to really see any precipitation from that. We are seeing some precipitation though coming from a low pressure system over Texas right now. So Florida is just dealing with a whole lot of rain as we started our tropical season just a couple days ago. Now back here in northwest Arkansas in the River Valley we are seeing some clouds kick up from Texas as that low pressure system is right over the Dallas area producing some heavy rain. So current temperatures right now here at home we're seeing high 70s for the most part 78 in Fayetteville 76 in Benton and 81 in Salisaw. We're still seeing that nor northeasterly wind coming down, cooling off temperatures for today. As we get into tomorrow, though, that's when we're seeing some strong winds coming up from the south, warming up temperatures as we get into the weekend. And now winds for today. Again, we haven't seen much wind. We're seeing about 15 miles an hour overnight tonight coming up from the south now. And as we start our tomorrow morning, we're going to see wind, uh, wind speeds about five miles an hour coming up from the southeast. So as we start off tomorrow morning, we're going to start off just a bit cooler, 56 degrees in Fayetteville, 60 in Fort Smith, and 59 in Poto with that wind coming up from the southeast. So over the next seven days, we are going to still keep that chance for precipitation in the forecast as we head into the weekend. Here's what your set your weekend looks like for Saturday. Again, we could have some showers to start off our morning, just some lingering showers left. But as we get into Saturday night, late Saturday night, that's when we're expecting some more rain to come into the forecast for Sunday. We'll hang on to that precipitation chance and we could see some thunderstorms with all that wind coming up from the south. As we start off your work week, we're going to see warmer temperatures, 86 degrees for our Monday, but those scattered showers and thunderstorms still remain in the forecast as that cold front just slowly tracks across northwest Arkansas. For the River Valley again, we have some chances for rain for this weekend. Again, late Saturday night, so if you have any plans for Saturday, those are still okay. It's not until really late into Saturday and really taking effect into early on Sunday morning is when we're holding on to those greatest chance for some rain. To start off our work week, we're still in 90 degrees, warmer temperatures, humidity is really going to go up as we start our work week. Temperatures getting into the mid 90s as we start Monday. Maybe just a slight cool down by this time next week. Just a little bit heading into the end of our work week to start of next weekend. We'll see a little bit of a cool down, but the humidity during the it's first half of this week, right. pretty yeah. hot, pretty yeah. uncomfortable yeah. out there. All right, Stephen.